Okay, we left off the very bottom of Chofbeis. Very bottom of page Chofbeis in the Maral. Two lines from the bottom. He's differentiating between Yiras Hashem and any other acquisition of a special uh, characteristic, like Avas Hashem. There's a difference between Yiras Hashem and Avas Hashem. Yiras Hashem is just recognizing the fact. Avas Hashem is already, it's a feeling. You already have to reflect on understanding who Hashem is, then you have Avo. He says, Zem chulekas hayirab mikol amidus, v'at min avas Hashem yizborach, even avas Hashem. Ki ayidei avas Hashem yizborach, kone hadveikos bo yizborach legamri. What does Avo bring about? Avo brings dveikos. That's attachment. Cleaving. And the greatest level of acquisition you're acquiring, Vekos. Right? You know, we always mention the Ramban. The Ramban says, we say, Right? You have a negative and positive. If they're pitted against one another and you can't reconcile the two. The Ase, the positive commandment, supersedes the negative. So the Ramban says, Ase is what is Avas Hashem. To be motivated to do a do so you have to have Avo. A refrain mitzvah, like a losa, say, don't do, here is enough. If you, f- you have fear, you don't do. But to be, to be motivated to do, that you need Avos Hashem. So since Ava is greater than Yiro, therefore Ava supersedes, overrides Yiro Hashem. That's the Ramban. Uh, Ava, what you said, is in what in Yiro? Ava is? If they're pitted against one another, Ava. You said Ava is part of Yiro? Is that what you said? No, 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 no. No, two separate things. Ava Hashem, there's Ava Hashem, Yiro Hashem. So he says, what does Ava bring about? It causes the vacus. It causes you to attach yourself. Yura means you stand back. You know, I'm frozen in my place. I wouldn't dare cross that line. But to be able to be motivated, regardless of what's, what the impediments are, and you do everything within your ability, that's Ava Hashem. That's the vacus. That, so he says, the vacus, that's an acquisition. You've acquired something. Yura's, I don't. I don't do certain things because I have an understanding. We explain what is Yerush Hashem? What is the cause of Yerush Hashem? I can consider myself as nothing because I recognize I'm only a consequence of a cause. Hashem wills I should be. So if every aspect of my being is willed, exists only because He wills it, so what am I? I'm nothing. Correct? That's, that's what Yerush Hashem. Yerush Hashem is a result of recognizing truly that it totally negated. One's negation, one is you're acquiring. I'm attaching myself to Hashem. Ve'em is a king in Milo. Kashi yesh lo ayira yomar bozeh ma king in yesh bozeh. Kamoshar Milo sheish ben king in Milo. One's an acquisition. One is a consequence. See, one is as a result of a negation. Yerush is negation. The more you understand that the process, the more you understand that you're nothing. Correct? Let's say you have a person and you give him a you give him a million dollars and you say you can only use that money only per instruction. You have no say in the matter whatsoever. Now people see him using the money, spending it seemingly as he as he chooses. People think, you know, this man, you know, he has, he has a lot of ability. man has no ability. Because he's controlled every expenditure is dictated by the one who gave him the money. So could he feel empowered? I mean, he may be, believe he's empowered because he's doing all, this, all these acquisitions. But whatever he's doing, he's just he's no more than a, than a puppet. That's all he is. He's no more than a puppet. So what is he? You're nothing. And with Hashem, it's even more so. Every aspect of your being... It's not only what you do, what you are. What you do, what you are, what you're gifted with, everything is an endowment from Hashem, a continuous endowment. So what are you? I'm nothing. So the root of Yerus Hashem is that you're negated. That's how you come to Yerus Hashem. It's not something you do, it's, it's a realization of what you are. Ava is, because Ava, you, you do something. What do you do? You attach yourself. You understand? So that, therefore, that's called an acquisition. Which comes first? Yira comes Two. before Ava. There's no question. I mean, you may have, you may have Ava before Yira, let's say, but, but the, the Ava, but, but it's only a moment. 
Yira. An ongoing Ava is, 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 beyond, is beyond Yira. You know, a person could have like a moment of clarity. You realize what Hashem did for you, so you have Ava. But it's, it's a different kind of Ava. That's, that's Ava to Yibadover. You know, that, that's of course, he did so much, it's, that's contingent. Love, which is based on somebody did something for you, it's not recognizing God for God. Right? The Mishnah Pirke Yovers. Avashen Tuli Bedom. Right? The, you read the story by Eov. What did, what did, what did the Sultan say to Hashem? Let's see what kind of, what, how, how much he will love you. So what does Hashem do? Hashem says he will. Gives him suffering beyond. And he still loved God. Not, not only did he not cross the line, he loved Hashem. Mm-hmm. How do you love? I mean, God takes everything and causes you suffering yeah. and pain. How do you love Hashem? Mm-hmm. It's because he saw God for what God was. It's unreli- unrelated to what he gives me. It's because of what he is. A person who's a special person, if the special person recognizes somebody else is special, immediately there's, a, there's an attachment. Even though the person never did anything for him. He wants to be associated with that person because he recognizes he's a special. What, what is that? That's Avashen Nukli Yibadavar. Not that he has anything to gain. It's just because he recognizes the quality of the person, he wants to be within that person's proximity. And he wants to observe him and wants to have the privilege to be with, within his, his Dalaramos. That's Abba. That, that's not Yiro. But you have to be that special person to, to, to appreciate that. And because of that, you want to be. That you have to be that, that, that's an indication of how special. A person who has Abba, he's a special person. Because he has that ability to appreciate, recognize what's special. I mean, the way most people can relate to it, a person has a special relationship with his wife. Why, why does he have the Abba towards his wife? Because she did so much for her. Because he truly recognizes that she's special. Finished. It begins there and ends there. It's not because, you know, you make a list where she did A to Z for me. Therefore, that's why you have Abba. That may be true, but that's not the root of Abba. Maybe she did. Therefore, you recognize her to really be special. After everything said and done, you reckon sees her special qualities, she's special. Even if she doesn't do anything for you. Because she's truly special. That's on a very personal level. But on outside of a husband-wife relationship, to recognize that someone else is special and that should be the cause to gravitate towards that person, that's an indication that person is truly special. Give an example. He learns. He'll be gravitate to anybody he could learn from. That's an indication he's a chokhm, that he values chokhmah to such a degree, he's, there's, 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 there's no road that he's not willing to travel to acquire chokhmah, to acquire wisdom. That's an indication that he's true, he's a chokhm, even though at this moment, as the rabbinic you know, say, he knows nothing. But that, that he has this, this yearning and this, this desire to go through thick and thin for chokhmah, he's already classified as a chokhm. That's a izu chokhm, because he recognizes chokhmah for what chokhmah is. Av is you recognize the person what the person is. Not because the person did anything for me. Nothing to do with what he did. It's just recognition. Recognizing God for what he is, you gravitate towards him. You want to be associated. You want to attach yourself to him. That's, that's the Rambam. Hilchus Deus. Hilchus Yisari Torah. He speaks of Av is Hashem. Av is an emotion. Could, could there be a commandment to love? Right? How do you kill somebody to love? So he says, if you look at existence... And you see God's genius and his, 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 his majesty and everything, you're natu- and you're negated, you'll naturally gravitate towards him. You want to be associated with him. It'll evoke the greatest level of love. That's the Rambam. Because it's reality. When a person recognizes and appreciates that, immediately. I'll give you an example. People have a, it, it, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a deficiency. They want to be associated with, with wealthy people. They feel privileged. So you say to yourself, this man will never give you a dime. He won't even look at you. But you know, to be in his proximity makes me feel somehow. What, it's, it's stupidity. And you'll even put yourself out. You may spend money to, to accommodate him where the man doesn't even value what you do for him. Well, it doesn't does make sense. Does that make sense? But th- that's the way people behave. Them. behave. Did you, do you know who I saw? Do you know who I sat next to? What, what is this all nonsense? What does it do for you? Well, the person feels, in the, feels yeah, inflated. Yeah. You know, it's, it's because you love COVID and you love money. You want to be associated with money. If you love money, you never have enough. Just being near the person, even though I know, doesn't make a difference. It's, that's something I gravitate towards. Okay? Just tells you who the person is.
course, without your Ava means nothing. No, if you have year, no, because if you have year, you're going to keep the mitzvahs. That's bottom line. That's positive, positive, positive. That's going to keep you on the straight and narrow path. As though Kim Yura, that's the most important thing in life. You're, you're always going to do the right thing. You're not going to cross that line ever. You need, you need Yura. Without Yura, you have to have Yura. You have to you because factually, a human being has all kinds of inclinations. You know, you, you have the cat, carrot and the stick. You know, that's what you have. You understand? But you is not just fear. Yura is the recognition of... Reverence. But you right. can't come to reverence unless initially you fear. There's so many uh, inhibitions we have or reasons that we don't appreciate somebody's uh, magnitude, which, which is reverence, right? To recognize his greatness is because we have our own issues, Right? But one thing we know, we don't want to be hurt. So as much as we have our issues, to be hurt, we don't want to be hurt. So all of a sudden, that gives you, all of a sudden you have clarity. That gets you beyond. You know, years ago, there was somebody who used to come here. His name was Bruce Rappaport. Robbie and Alan remember him. So Bruce Rappaport was a phenomenal... Abraham, this is good. You can tell it to your boss. He used to tell, he's a phenomenal storyteller. He told over a story that there was this man, he had a, like a miracle-type donkey. This donkey was a wonder donkey. That whatever you say to this donkey, he would follow instruction. You just had to say, please, please, donkey. So this man heard about this special donkey, and um, he wanted to buy it. Paid a fortune, loads it on his truck, takes it to his farm, loads him up with a tremendous load. Says, donkey, please move with the load. Walk. Donkey doesn't move. doesn't doesn't budge. Pulls it, screams at it, doesn't move. He feels the man duped him. He was cheated gets upset, he says, you cheated me, it's not what you said, he says, impossible. So he goes, he says, I'll come to your farm, we'll see, and I'll, I'll show you. So he says, please donkey, no, monkey doesn't move. Howard, I got competition, I have competition. So, uh, so he says, please, it doesn't move. The, the, the other person, the, the buyer says, please, it doesn't, he says, I forgot to tell you something. Before you say please, he picks up a block of wood, rams it into the donkey's head. And then he says, please, donkey. Okay, you see, that's the way it works. <laughs> that's the story. Yer is Hashem before Ava Hashem. You understand? You have to know you can get it over the head. If you know you can get it over the head, then you have reverence, and then you have Ava, then we can talk about all the advancements. Until then, you know, it's what I think, and what I want. So how do you get over the hump? That's how you get over the hump. How do you hit the ball out of the park? You've got to give it a good whack that goes out of the, out of the ballpark. Now I'm talking uh, obvious language. Baseball, uh, okay. Well, no, the b baseball. <laughs> the baseball. See, with David, I, I speak about rugby. I'm not with Avi. Rami, I speak about baseball. Okay. No, 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 no. You, you're, uh, no, that's the way you... You have free choice. You yeah, can, that's what I'm but, uh, but to overcome that, the more you re realize that you're nothing, that that is the challenge. That is the challenge. Mm -hmm. Hashem is going to let you give you enough rope to hang yourself if you want. Mm -hmm. He will give you leeway to the nth degree. So to re yeah, to recognize that as much leeway as gives me, but I'm nothing. That's the challenge. And if you recognize that, then you, then you've succeeded. Okay. okay. What? Being humble. It, uh, definitely has to do with being humble.